Today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple cameras in Unity and be able to switch from one room to another seamlessly without a single line of code. Wait for the drop? Okay, let's hit it. Shall we play a game? There are a couple things you're going to need for this build. First, I'll be using my 2D player controller as a template. Click the card at the top right if you'd like to know how to build this from scratch. You're also going to need Bolt Visual Scripting, which you can get from the Unity Asset Store. There's a link in the description below, as well as download and install Cinemachine. Okay, I'm going to assume that you already have Bolt and Cinemachine installed into your Unity engine. If not, then go back and check out my first video on my 2D player controller called Showcase, uh, because I walk you through exactly how to set up both of these things. Uh, in that video. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install a virtual camera. So going to Cinemachine, I'm going to create a virtual camera here. And what that does is it drops CMB Cam 1 um, in the hierarchy here. And it also puts a, a Cinemachine brain on the main camera. So on our CMB Cam 1, what we're going to do is we're going to set our player game object to the follow unit so that the camera is always following the player. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our hierarchy. We're going to right click and create an empty object here. And then we're just going to rename that room one. Um, once we get that set, we're going to add a uh, polygon collider to that polygon collider 2D. And uh, then we're going to open up the points of this object. And uh, we're just gonna set the size to four and that's going to give us four points on this. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna kind of set this up according to the size of the room that we want. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, go to edit collider here and I'm just going to drag it and kind of move it around a little bit, uh, each point of this to the size of this room that I want it to fill. So I want this to actually fill up most of this first little area here. And let me go over here here whoops I got the wrong side there somehow I got five points again I don't know how that happened um, anyway so I'm gonna go right over here and get that set to where I'm happy with it and once I get that to where I'm pretty happy with it you're gonna have to play around with it a little bit get it exactly to the specifications of each room um, I'm gonna do right there and then I'm going to set this as a trigger Next thing I'm going to do is just clicking on that room one game object. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to add a flow machine to that. And um, you can set this to embed if you like, but um, you know, if you ever want to reuse this again, I would highly recommend just leaving it on macro and creating a new macro for this. Um, you're going to need a couple macros for this. Uh, first of all, you're going to need this super unit. And I believe I got this from One Wheel Studio, but I'm not quite sure. I went back and looked for it. I know I didn't come up with this. I got this from somebody else. It's just a helpful little super unit. Basically, what this is doing is just checking the tag of whatever you collide with with a game object, and it's returning a true or false statement. Um, so go ahead and set this up. On this input unit, this is a string, and it has a default value. The reason you do that is so that you can uh, set that tag outside of the super unit. You're going to need one more, just call it Room Switcher. Uh, this is exactly where you're going to be using that on trigger, enter, and exit. As you can see here, you can enter in player because this is set to default value. Just in, enter in player there in that tag. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to find uh, the Cinemachine Virtual Camera Set Enabled Unit in the Fuzzy Finder. And if I, if I remember correctly, I believe you have to type in pretty much the whole thing. Camera set just about the whole thing to get it to come up so i mean that is kind of frustrating but just right click copy that and paste it and set one to true and one to false the true is going to be running into here the uh exit is going to be running into the false one uh, then you're going to get a transform get child and then run both of those units into the uh, the game object transform that it's looking for. Leave the index to zero, and I'll show you exactly why in just a second. Once you get that set, you're going to grab the CM VCAM 1, and you're just going to child it under room 1. Um, since room 1 is the one with the flow machine on it, you are actually going to grab that room switcher macro and just drop it right in there. And now what this is going to do is whenever uh, the player interacts with this collider that we have set up, this polygon collider, it's going to set the virtual camera uh, to enabled. And because it's on the child of this object, it's looking for the first object in the list. If you know, uh, you probably know this, but lists start with zero instead of one. So what it's doing is it's getting the first 
uh, child that it sees under room one and it's setting that to enable. Because this is the way this is set up, what we're going to do is go right up to this uh, Bcam one game object and we are going to check this box and disable it. Okay, we are almost done. There is one more thing that we need to go ahead and do with this CMV Camp 1 before we actually start duplicating these objects and placing them around our level. Going down to the bottom of the list, click on Extensions, and you're going to click Cinemachine Confiner. And that is going to uh, look for an object that it is confining that unit to. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab Room 1, and we're just going to put it right in there. And now our camera should be stuck in this confined area however you set that out and the last thing that we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this item so just go and duplicate it make it as many times as you want uh just kind of set them up around uh your area here uh, i do not want these objects colliding with each other so you can kind of see how close they are to you know that seems to work that'll work well for me now i'm going to go and edit the collider for this one and just kind of pull it in just a little bit and I'm gonna do it two more times, but before I do that, I'm just gonna name this. Okay, so I'm done editing that. I'm just gonna rename this to Room 2. Well, it's not a perfect science, but you get the idea. Uh, I kind of spread them all around the room here. Now, there is uh, one one little detail that I think is important, and you know, this is just you know my own personal preference, so you don't have to do it this way. But as, if you look at the virtual camera under room three, one of the things that you see is, is that the camera is way bigger than that little area. And I'd like to confine the camera to that. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna move the size down. Uh, of the camera and just kind of keep it in the box a little bit so that now I'm gonna do that for number three and for number four probably should have done that before I moved it but oh well um, and as soon as I get that to where I'm about happy with it last thing I need to do is just go in and make sure all of these are disabled just one more little tip and then we can call it a day. If whenever your player is switching from one room to the next and you don't like how fast it's transitioning, um, you can actually go to your main camera here and on your Cinemachine brain when you just kind of scroll down and see default blend ease in out. Um, the lower number that you have right here in this little segment, uh, the faster it's going to be snapping around and the higher the number, the more smooth that transition is going to be. So just kind of mess with that number until you find something that you're happy with. Okay, you should now have a level set up with multiple cameras that lock to a particular room and transition smoothly when you exit one room and enter the next. If this has been helpful for you, this is where I'm supposed to say like and subscribe, but I'm just way too classy for that. Instead, I'll just say, my name is Megahertz and I'm out.